and let us all that we can to build a better future. Hardlands Media stands against censorship. We always have. We always will. I believe in freedom of speech. I believe that libertarians, greens, socialists, yes, Democrats, Republicans, liberals, conservatives, boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, Gen Z, all have a right for free speech. I don't care about the color of your skin, who you worship, who you vote for, what generation you're part of. But free speech is fundamental in our democracy. And look, not once but eight times Hardlands Media has been censored by YouTube. And we've recovered those eight times thanks to all of you. All of you. The reason why we're still around is because of all of you. And I've said on the show, well, things could get worse. And, you know, I've occasionally gotten messages from people. And even sometimes my colleagues would say, well, how worse can it get? Come on, kid. Maybe you're over-exaggerating. Maybe things will calm down. Maybe things will be just fine. To which I have to say, no. No, it won't. And it's important for anyone that's involved in independent media. And yes, this is a tough job to do. To diversify where you live stream on. That's why we're on Rockfin Odyssey, Rumble, and Twitch. That's why we have a show on Can TV. There's so much more we have to do, but it's it's only going to get worse. Because in an interview that she did with uh, the Jimmy Dore Show, uh, Misty Winston, also known as Sarcasm Stardust on uh, uh, Twitter, she did an interview with Jimmy Dore on TNT Radio. And Indie News Network, who've done phenomenal work, apparently that interview got them, well, in trouble. Broke YouTube's policy guidelines. And so they're two weeks in the hole. I'm going to ask all of you to politely, come on, let's, I, I'm going to, I know, if you, if you can't say anything, be constructive in your criticism and calling out YouTube, but help get Indie News Network out of this two-week hole, okay? That is everyone's number one priority. And yes, this video will be clipped. So even though it's still clipped, and let's say they're they're out of the hole by then, all right? Because anything can happen between now and when this video comes up over the weekend. I want everyone to be very clear on this. We need to call out YouTube to tell them to stop doing this, okay? Again, the federal government itself said the crisis of COVID is over. And a lot of people on social media, including... Uh, NBC recently did an article about how there's a rise in tendonitis with those who took the vaccine shot. Now, that's on social media, YouTube. The media is reporting on that, too. Now, obviously, here's the thing. YouTube is a private platform, but they're not a publisher. And apparently, now they're two weeks in a hole. Apparently, what medical misinformation? Uh, YouTube, you one time flagged one of our videos because we were talking how Joe Rogan was censored or was smeared by CNN. In that video that you hit us with, not once in that video did we say anything about any vaccines or the pandemic. We were just talking about how CNN was smearing Joe Rogan. Did a person really listen to this interview? Or was it the algorithm? And again, Indie News Network is being silenced. I don't like censorship. I really don't. I don't like it at all. Now, you could still listen to it. It's on Odyssey. I don't have these problems with Odyssey or Rockfin. And I've referenced them before in the past, too. Again, everyone, it's going to get worse. I wish that it wasn't. I'm sorry that uh, Indie News Network got censored by this. I'm angry. But probably a lot of you are saying, well, Kit, it, 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 okay, yes, that happens. And maybe if we all tweet at YouTube, it, it can change things. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to pull up somebody else. We all know who Kim Iverson is. She has done great work. Today, I got a strike on my YouTube channel. For my interview back in February, in February, huh, with presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. about the pandemic, about COVID. 
The powers that uh, be are on an intense censorship campaign to protect the president of the United States. Now that RFK Jr. is polling at 19%. We'll be talking about that later. Now, again, this is a presidential candidate. Again, I urge everyone to send a constructive, be polite, calling out YouTube, YouTube community, all of that, into reversing their decision. Hi, Kim Iverson. Our team has reviewed, are you sure, has reviewed your conduct, uh, content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our medical misinformation policy. Now, again, oh, we know it might be disappointing, but it's important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all. To quote the Hound in Game of Thrones, I think it was in season three or season four, there's no such thing as safe. Never has been, never will be. I've seen this message before. Look, folks, I can say this is absolute confidence as an insufferable prick. But um, sometimes uh, YouTube can get things wrong. But then again, then again, you're all probably thinking, well, Kit, come on. You need to stop. It's not going to get worse. I mean, come on. Pull this article here. Breaking. Trudeau's internet censorship bill becomes a law. Now, this is in Canada of all places, but listen. Listen very carefully. After significant parliamentary scrutiny and years of political pushback, the Trudeau Liberal Government's Online Streaming Act, also known as Bill C-11, has passed and will become law. The bill focused on reforming the Broadcasting Act to include online content has been a contentious issue for some time. Bill C-11 is aimed at forcing popular social media platforms and streaming services to abide by Canadian content regulations similar to those imposed on traditional broadcasting broadcasters. Platforms like Netflix, Gray, Spotify, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, and YouTube were required to spend millions of dollars investing in Canadian content and creators. Critics have raised concerns about the, the liberal proposal's potential knock-on effects for content creators and content users see online. I'm willing to bet now, this will be knocking on America's door soon. Come on, AOC says the platforming works. YouTube, for example, has run an online campaign against the bill warning users. Wow, YouTube, wow. Warning users who make money from creating videos about how the legislation could impact their livelihoods. Meanwhile, the conservatives argue that the legislation will censor what Canadians see online and have led to uh, led the charge against Bill C-11 in Parliament. Despite the divide, this divide, the minister responsible for Bill C-11 has emphasized the important contributions and parliamentarians uh, to the final wording of the legislation while asserting the time has come to move on. Move on. Don't worry about it. Stop panicking. All of you, stop panicking. Uh, there might be some people saying, oh, Kit, you're, this, this, this can never come to America. Have you not been paying attention to what's happening in independent media on YouTube? The Senate has been in a procedural battle over whether to assert itself and insist on substantive amendments made by the upper chamber, which were rejected by the majority of MPs. Attempts to have the Senate stand its ground on certain amendments were unsuccessful, but the past motion was amended to note the Liberals' public assurance that Bill C-11 will not apply to user-generated digital content. Oh, how fantastic. How special. But look, some of you might say, Kit, that can never happen in America. And you know what? Our, we, we have keen-eyed eagles to protect us. The people will never see it happen. Yes, it happens on YouTube, but that's just a small market. Never that on corporate media. Who could forget when CBS uh, did their little documentary about weapons in Ukraine, and then <laughs> that thing disappeared. What happened to it? Here. Let's look at another alphabet media network called ABC. ABC just censored Robert Kennedy Jr. because they he called out the uh, COVID and the big pharma advertisers didn't like it. Don't believe me? Watch. We should note that during our conversation, Kennedy made false claims about the COVID-19 vaccines. Data shows that the COVID-19 vaccines prevented millions of hospitalizations and deaths from the disease. He also made misleading claims about the relationship between vaccination and autism. Research shows that vaccines and the ingredients used for the vaccines do not cause autism. Read the paper and follow orders. Including multiple studies involving more than a million children and major medical associations like the American Academy of Pediatrics and the advocacy group 
Autism Speaks. We've used our editorial judgment in not including extended portions of that exchange in our interview. We thank Mr. Kennedy for the conversation. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong here. Let's have democracy in the chat. Let's have democracy in the chat while we still have it. A type three, if you think, Kit, freedom of speech and democracy and 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 the right for people to post content and be responsible. They could they could do the right thing. People can be trusted to do the right thing. Everything's gonna be fine. A type four is like, oh my God, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> it's it's always darkest before the dawn. <laughs> There you go. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens, folks. But like I said, hey, the censorship, it's going to get worse. Keep your heads on a swivel, folks. Stay tuned to Hard Lens Media. No matter what, we're not going anywhere.